Hi, and welcome to Glasgow's Back to School Nights. Um, if you need to see this video and translate it into another language, here are some um, brief directions on how to turn on subtitles. Okay, um, so welcome. I teach language and literature, seventh grade. My name is Janet Logan. And here's a little bit about me. So this is my fifth year teaching at Glasgow, and this is my seventh year teaching. Um, I'm originally from Pennsylvania, about an hour and a half or so north of Pittsburgh. So as you can imagine, I'm also a Steelers fan. Um, so things I enjoy doing my free time, I enjoy baking and lifting, um, obviously reading. I also enjoy playing video games, which um, students tend to get a kick out of. Um, and as you can see, there are a few other things I'm interested in. Um, I graduated from Slipper Rock. Um, I love, like I said, baking. And I also have a chunky cat, and yes, chunky. Um, his name is Neville, as in Neville Longbottom from Harry Potter. So as you can imagine, I'm also a Harry Potter fan. Okay, so moving on. Um, here's a little bit about my teaching philosophy. So I believe that students learn best when they feel welcome in class every day, are shown clear steps and examples how to do a task, are given work time to practice these new skills independently and with classmates. And I believe that students learn best when they are given a choice in what they read and write. Um, what students can expect in my class, they can expect to feel support throughout class time. They can expect for their opinions and thoughts to be valued and encouraged to be shared throughout the day. Um, they can expect to be doing lots of reading and writing um, and assessments uh, will be assigned each quarter for reading and writing. And they can also be expected to um, just feel encouraged to read independently during class time. Um, so this is just a little bit on my teaching philosophy. Okay, um, here's a little bit about the curriculum. So we started using this curriculum last year. It was developed by the county. Um, we have thematic units, so here are some of them. So we have community, which we are currently working through. Next, we'll dive into identity. Next is challenges, perspective, growth, and then we'll end the year with reflection. Some skills you can expect um, your son or daughter to um, develop and work on this year um, will be um, with nonfiction. So we'll be reading a lot of informational text. At some point, they might be expected to write a narrative essay about themselves. Um, we'll also spend some time with um, persuasion. So they might um, create some sort of project where they need to use persuasive techniques. We'll also spend some time doing um, working in fiction, going over the different literary elements, and that might look like short stories, novels, book clubs. Um, they'll also be going and spending some time with literary analysis, so um, focusing on the impact, the author's word choice, and not last but least, poetry and research will be embedded throughout the unit. So depending on what project or writing they will be doing, um, they will be exposed to some poetry and they might have to do some research alongside that. Okay, so grading and assessments, I'm sure you have seen this in other classes. So this is the breakdown of what grades look like here at Glasgow. So we have smaller assignments, and those um, are typically known as formatives. That might look like exit tickets, classwork, quizzes, or quizzes, sorry. Um, and then you can also expect larger assessments. Those are uh, fall underneath the summative assessments category, and those are broken down into four criteria. So we have criteria A, analyzing, B, organizing, C, um, producing text, and C, um, which is using language, more so grammar and mechanics. So as you can see, some of this make up a big portion of your child's grade. Um, okay, moving on. Here uh, is some information for additional support. So um, I will be staying after school on Tuesdays to offer up any kind of academic help. Um, 
We also will be using Schoology this year. I will be posting um, slides whenever I can and additional re resources as well that accompany the units we'll be doing this year. And not last but least, this is my email. Please feel free to email or reach out to me at any point. I will usually try to get back to you within a day or two. Some other things um, that might be helpful is knowing how you can support your child. Um, so one way of doing this is just simply asking your um, child, what are you learning in class? Um, I will say I typically don't assign a ton of homework. Homework usually comes from incomplete assignments. So um, asking your child what assignments do you have to do? Um, what do you need to complete? Um, and let's look at, um, I know it says grid here, that's a little dated, but let's look at your, your class in Schoology and see um, what assignments you need to turn in. Um, here are, here's a list of supplies that might be helpful for this year. So a notebook or a binder, um, just somewhere so where they can store their notes. Um, Post-its, as you can imagine in English, we do a lot of reading. We do what's called stop and jot. So having post-its, um, it's helpful for that. I do have some that get us through um, part of the year, but having their own um, is a big, uh, it's very helpful. And not last but least, and this is quite obvious, um, some pencils and highlighters as well, um, because as you can imagine, I'll be doing a lot of writing and annotating. So these are some supplies that might be helpful to um, get them through the year. And that's all I have for you. So I'm looking forward to a great year and have a wonderful day.